everyone and welcome to my channel miniatures uh, furnishes and uh, this is Chotty. Uh I just want to show you uh, my new uh, well not my new but uh, the the next project I have been working on and I had done a tutorial but of course it takes hours and hours to do this you know and and drying times and stuff so anyway uh, I have made a whole tree and I think it turned out so so cute um, I want this is for the uh, entrance hall of the dollhouse that I'm building and uh, it's all made with recycled uh, cardboard out of the uh, cereal boxes I learned a lot in this little booger <laughs> and uh, and I'm still learning but uh, it has been so much fun to do this the door opens up okay and closes it's got a glass little knob it's got to hang the, um, you know, hat, coat, whatever. And then here, one is for the cane and the other one is for the, uh, uh, the umbrellas, you know, when you come in and just put your cane in there and so on. This little shelf in here, so they can put the little hats on there as the gentleman comes to their home and, you know, wants to, um, the first thing, of course, takes off, you know, is the hat and then puts the cane and the, uh, if it was raining, of course, an umbrella. It's, it's, uh, it's not exactly, but it's same. I looked at one that I liked, but I had already started this one. So really, uh, it's similar, but it's uh, into a, uh, a really old piece, miniature whole tree. And I just loved it, really, really do. Uh, I want to do one just like that one exactly, but anyway. Uh, the uh, like I said, everything is uh, cardboard. Of course, it's got uh, a lot. If you can see, and it has the, um, the the wood carving. You know, it looks like wood carving around the mirror, which I made it out of a trim. And then I had a little piece of uh, metal. Uh, I don't know if you can tell what it is, but anyway, I'm trying to get it out away from the uh, light. And then again, this here is uh, what to hang. It's also a couple of pieces. A piece from the same piece of metal, I cut that off to make, to, you know, the, uh, the piece to hang your coats or whatever, right, both sides. And this is a little uh, piece of uh, jewelry stuff that I had, and I put it on here and on here, and of course, also in here. And of course, some metal that you know, uh, jewelry metal. This one is still a little bit wet. So <laughs> that one that I saw, it had a marble look, and of course, I had to make it a marble look. And it had also in the bottle the marble look with the gold, or a, I guess it was a metal, you know, rim on it. I happened to have had this. I I did this. I don't know. I made a big piece of it, long piece for something, and I happened to have some left. And I thought, cool, this just about looks like it. So I went and sprayed it both, you know, sides inside and outside of it with a spray gold. Um, I use, uh, let me show you what I use. This uh, Krylon Color Master Metallic. Yeah. Anyway, I tell you, it did beautiful. It really did. Uh, and it stays on very well. It dries pretty fast. And it doesn't have uh, clumps. I think it says no clumps, no drips, no runs, no drips, no errors. So I was so happy to see that because you know, you know me. So anyway, I learned to make little, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but the molding, have the little steps up molding to it. So you can have it not only in here, but also in here. One's going down and the other one's going up. So that was very useful. Again, I was able to do it, and I don't know if you can tell, but see the two, it's kind of been, had that, I don't know what's it called, but anyway, it's, it, again, it looks like it has two pieces, but it doesn't have it, or it's been cut that way. And I did the same thing at the bottom. And I don't know if you can tell, I think you sort of can tell. So anyway, I, uh, I'm really delighted with it. Um, I'm working more on color, uh, uh, try to get some sandpaper, and this is gonna be sent probably a little bit more, uh, and maybe even a wax, give it a wax, you know, so it, it won't look so shiny. But uh, anyway, I love it, and I wanted to share it with you guys. If y'all wanna 
tutorial or something like this, I will be happy to. Also, another tutorial that I'm thinking about doing, and you might like to do it since you all like to craft and so on, is make a little, just a room, a crafting room. I thought it'd be a lot of fun. And uh, whatever goes into the room will be a video, of course. And uh, uh, and we will be putting it on in the room as we go along. I think that'd be a lot of fun, and for me, it'd be great. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little uh, whole tree. I certainly enjoyed it, made it. It's only about six inches and a quarter long by, let me show you, see what that is. Why? It's about two and a half inches wide, but it looks bigger than it. <laughs> I just, like I say, I love it, I love it. And I had done a video, but I didn't know who was interested of this except me. <laughs> so <laughs> decided that that's what I was gonna do. Go ahead and do it and then show them to you. Like I say, if you're ever interested in anything like this, please let me know. And also, if you're interested in the, um, uh, what do you call it, the, um, let me put it over here. It does, that's really nice. Uh, and that little one room, um, you know, craft room, uh, I think it'd be a lot of fun. Now, I'm gonna be very detailish. I've seen some that their kids, no, it's not me. You know, it's gonna be done. They look so real. So, uh, if you're interested, let me know. And we'll start uh, with the main, you know, room first, and then uh, every other every video after that will be a video, okay? Uh, please comment because it's really important for me to know whether it's good or not, you know. Uh, like I say, I always love uh, constructive criticism. I know some of this is not for you ladies that has that love to do the uh, shabby chic. I will be doing more shabby chic, I promise. It's just not as much as I used to do because, but I'm gonna try to maybe do maybe once a week or something like that, you know, give you something. Um, this is really something I had always interesting on doing. And, and you know, I do a lot of little things like that. So uh, for me, it's, it's awesome. And, uh, but I think the uh, craft room will be kind of fun because you might be doing things in your craft room. You know, actually fix it like you want it, like you have. So the only thing you have to, if you wanted me to show you how to do something, it would be just give me a comment. Like I said, comments are very important. Uh, and you don't have to tell me how, how wonderful and everything it is. Just, you know, just let me know um, seriously about how you feel about it. And if you wanna do something different or for me to do something different for y'all, it really, really helps, okay? So uh, also please give us thumbs up because that's very important for us. YouTube has changed uh, rules and such. So for us to stay up here and be able to give you tutorials, please, please give us thumbs up, subscribe, and, and also share. You know, uh, I share everything I have with others. And uh, so you'll share too. Uh, anyway, there's a lot of things upcoming. And uh, a lot of it was gonna be in the uh, high couture fashion for dolls. And I'm talking about the top, the cream of la creme. And no, maybe this one, the next one that I'm gonna get out because I have to do something to simulate something that has to do with Dollar Tree and it's kind of crazy. But from then on, it may take me a month to actually make an outfit for the doll the way I wanted to do it. But maybe I can get out a, a doll a month, okay? And uh, so that's gonna be very fun because I'll be making my own fabrics. I'll be doing everything that it has to be done with the outfit myself. Some things I think mom might be able to help me, you know? Uh, and so, uh, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. If it has a print, that print is gonna be made by me, in other words. So it, nothing is going to be um, bought fabric, very simple, just good fabric, like silk or something like that. Anyway, so much chit chat. <laughs> I love you guys, and you know I do. And uh, so uh, until next time, stay well, stay crafty, and uh, God bless you.